Alright, good morning everyone. I'm at Boeing Island Jewish right now. It is 10.13 a.m. And we're having big problems today here with our beloved Mass Transit. First issue, 952 bus to Limbrook. Didn't show up this morning. 1012 bus. Shows up two minutes early. And we're having another catastrophe with Queens Village right now. The 1007 bus to Kew Gardens has not left yet. There's an Orion 7 OG that is uh, still back there at the main hub. And pretty much uh, now we're wondering what, what's going to happen now. Because we already have another epic fail with the schedules not being changed right here on Lakeville. And now I got to wait another 10 minutes just to be able to get over to do the Sears video today. Which that's what this uh, video is supposed to do. We are going to still go to Sears. Because I do have a plan B if, if Nice Bus somehow fails. Uh, if Nice breaks down, I'm just going to have to take the 46 later on this morning. And then walk about 8 minutes to Sears. Which isn't that bad. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I've walked a lot. Like a 10 minute span in my neighborhood, Fresh Meadows. But, you know, again... Maybe today people will see the light and realize that our government is dysfunctional, okay? If you want to take down Donald Trump in 2020, you got to vote the people out who were previously affiliated with him and now are having views. And the one guy is Andrew Cuomo. And a long time ago, Cuomo and Trump used to be best friends. And you know what Molinaro said about Trump? He cut off all ties with him. Pretty much right when he ran for president. So, once again, you have a choice in November. If you want this, this, this horrible nightmare, and this is how CBS2 would call it, end this nightmare, you gotta vote out Andrew Cuomo. Because literally days like this, and I even told my fellow strap hangers, that literally days like this is making me feel like I don't belong in New York anymore. It's days like this, and here comes, yep, here comes the 1017 bus. You can't make this stuff up. This is a catastrophe. So I'm going to wait here for another few minutes for the N25, because I want my transfer to go into Glen Oaks and grab lunch after I'm done filming. And I, and I want to see somebody in Glen Oaks later on this afternoon anyway, which is a personal matter, but... Uh, pretty much, you know, this is what you get with Queens Village, and this is what you get with Nice Bus. You get a disaster. Maybe the next two months, riding these buses, will make you realize that Mark Molinaro should be governor. Alright? Because we all need to form a pact and tell Andrew Cuomo that we've had enough. And look at this, this bus is already going to be crowded. I can tell this engine's already having problems. Here we go. This is 8490, and there is the logo up there. Queens Village. Yep, that bus sounds like it's in moderate condition, but it could be worse. So now, I gotta stand out here just to wait for the N25. Again, I have yelled at the top of my lungs so many times in the past that now this is the new normal. And the only way we fix it, I'm gonna say this again, is if we all do our part in November. We all have to do our part in November. And I'm gonna say this now. George Pataki, in 1994, was able to flip New York red because he won Nassau and Suffolk County. If anybody in Nassau and Suffolk has at least some decent common sense to realize that we're not going to fix this disaster unless we vote the man in charge out, then maybe we can get him out and then put Molinaro in. And I'm sure if Mark Molinaro is watching this, and I hope he is, I would love for him to come down and ride the buses with us. Nice bus 
and or Queens Village buses. They realized that under Cuomo, this disaster has gotten worse. Because we all know where the triangle comes from. It came from Mangano, and it came to the county, and then the plague came to Queens. You know, I I'm going to have to do a video about a timeline of events before the election. I, I may have to. I may have to make like a PowerPoint presentation on how we even ended up in this first place. So maybe people who are undecided can realize that Andrew Cuomo has done more harm to us than, you know, doing that. And, you know, I was telling John this, that I was thinking of moving away from New York if Cuomo gets another four more years. But again, I don't know how much more I can take. I really don't. And literally, my girlfriend's not going to realize the next year because thankfully, again, I'm not going to get into why I don't pay taxes because it's controversial to talk about it here on YouTube. But my girlfriend pays taxes, all right? Wait until next year when she realizes that Trump screwed her. She's not going to be able to deduct more than 10000 off her taxes next year. And pretty much my parents, my cousins, my other friends who pay taxes, they're going to realize it next year on their tax returns. They're going to completely realize it. I, I know I made this rant longer enough. Take a look at this. We actually get brickwork here. I haven't wanted to realize that. This is actual real brickwork. And some of the bricks might be falling out. I hope not. Because uh, literally, we, we all know what this reminds me of. Inferior construction. You only get that in the middle of the island. Meanwhile, this building was redone a few years ago, and look at it. Parker is still in the same shape it was. So why doesn't Parker get a renovation, and yet the main building gets a renovation? I, I know, I know. I'm not going to say Title VI, because that wouldn't be fair. Yep, there's another guy waiting for me right now for the N N25. I thought I could be on the, on the 1012 bus. Oh, here's a disaster already. It's 1021, and the N25 is 10 minutes late. 10 minutes late. You can't make this stuff up. I, I, again, I'm so annoyed with Transdev. I am so annoyed with them. 10 minutes late. Can't make this stuff up. All right, we've got a uh, Orion 7 Next Gen, and we got 1799. Yep, graffiti again on an ice bus. Does this surprise me? Absolutely not. And I'm only voicing over this picture just to literally get out my frustrations with TransDev. Literally, I don't know how much more people can take of this company. I mean, I'm, I've, I'm, I have it up to here with their antics. It's bad enough that, okay, Veolia was sent packing. Transdev's literally just as worse as Veolia. They are 10 times worse as the Veolia bus company. And, and this is why I hate private operators. Sometimes private operators don't get it right. And now, because of what I saw in this bus, and the next clip I'll show you, um, at least I was decently comfortable for a little bit of the ride. Uh, the next clip I'll show you that. But my point is, I, I'm just annoyed with this transdev. And again, we all have a choice in November. In order to send transdev packing, we can vote transdev out. And the only way we can vote transdev out is if we all do our part, vote on November 6th, and elect Mark Malinero as our next governor. Because I already found out that he wants to bring back MTA regional operations. Which again, we need Long Island bus back. Nice has been a disaster since it started. And Pine Power LI is right. When he's right, he's right. And I quickly want to mention something I didn't talk about in the video. I was on the 46th today. Uh, I left Glen Oaks right before 2 o'clock. And 
bus had strong air conditioning right by Little Neck Parkway. And then we get to Springfield Boulevard as I'm transferring to the 88, and the bus is about to stall out. You can't make this stuff up. I even told the driver, your bus is probably stalling out. You need to take it back to Depot if you can even get your bus to finish the run in Kew Gardens. Because this was another Orion 7 old gen. Or as everybody in the forums calls it, the OGs. <laughs> and yet, Nassau has the NGs because the Orion 5 foothills were a disaster when NICE took over. And when you had MTA, they were maintaining the Orion 5 foothills. The foothills were at least being maintained. And I want to talk about one last thing before we go to the next clip. I'm sorry for ranting, everyone, but I'm just... This transfer thing has really gotten to me. I was in Suffolk County on Saturday, back on the 15th. And I saw a disaster with the S-54, and I told everybody in the Suffolk Transit Forums that the S-54 going to Walt Whitman Mall, it was um, one of the old... Like one of the newer Gillings, I think. I don't know what it was, but pretty much this Gilling had a problem with the audio-visual system. I saw one sign that said, Walt Whitman Mall, right? I was at the Candlewood Diner on Vets Highway eating with my parents. So I said, epic fail with Suffolk to my parents. Look at this. S54 signs missing. It just says Walt Whitman Mall, and we see a southbound bus going to Patchogue. You know what the bus says? S54 Patchogue Railroad. So, once again, if Paul Pressman, you are watching this video, please keep doing what you're doing in Suffolk. Because I mentioned him before. He is the voice of the voiceless in Suffolk. And if more people can speak up in Suffolk, that would be great. Because then maybe we can finally have a proper Long Island bus system run by the MTA that's run big collaborate. All right? Both Nassau and Suffolk need one whole Long Island bus system. And the only way we do that, again, we all do our part, and you're looking at this photo. You have a choice in November. I mentioned it in the video. If you want to lose everything you love in New York, go ahead, vote for Cuomo. But if you want to save our state, maybe help lower our taxes, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, hopefully Malinero doesn't toss out the lawsuit against Trump, because I, I, I would not be doing that. Can you got to vote Andrew Cuomo out? I'm sorry for making this political, but I'm going to keep talking about it the next two months when I keep doing these videos. Because it's going to hopefully stink into all of your heads. It's going to make you realize that in order for me to stay in New York, we at least have to put my own arrow in. If not, I hope Andrew Cuomo ha uh, uh, goes to court. That's all I'm going to end that. So next up, and again, I apologize for ranting because I'm just, again, I get so annoyed with our transportation in the state. It's, it's becoming a disaster. We will now take a look at the full, uh, last video I took on Nice Bus, and then right to Sears. All right, 1799, Ryan 7 Next Gen. I just mentioned earlier, we are almost at Sears. And surprisingly, we have air conditioning. Very good. Very good indeed. It's very strong. Rarely happens on a nice bus. Probably because, again, uh, South Shore buses get preferential treatment. Alrighty, here we go. Here's Sears. So we're going to be doing our video today. And our bus stop today will be Lake Success Plaza East. Welcome to Lake Success Shopping Center. This is Sears. One of the last three remaining locations here in Nassau County. As of next month, there will only be two locations left. Sunrise Mall in Massapequa and the Green Acres Mall in Valley Stream. I want to quickly mention that there is police activity down there. I can't get it on camera, which we don't really want to do that because obviously Sears is our main focus. So, I'll give you a little bit of brief history about this location. Pretty much, one of my fellow volunteers at uh, LIJ told me that 
This was part of the Long Island retail boom in the 1950s, 60s. Macy's in Manhattan opened in 1965. And a few years later, this location in Lake Success opened. So this location has been here for a very long time, uh, along with this plaza. Long time ago in this plaza, there used to be a FYE for your entertainment, but that closed. So yeah, once again, next month, this location is closing. So if you can get here for the end of this month, please do so, because I don't know how much longer this series is going to stay open. That's why I'm giving you a personal video tour of it today. You're going to start off in the basement, and then we're going to go to the second floor, and we're going to wrap up on the first floor. Look at this. Huge inventory blowout. Everything must go. This is an Otis brand. So we're going to go to the basement first. Mm. Yeah, here's a look at the elevator. Yeah. I think the LED's not even working. We'll check it out after. Alright, so here is the basement. Here is the stairwell going up. Um, I figured we'll go up there and just a sec take a look because we are going to take the elevator back. That's two. But yeah, see this? Here's the air conditioners. Uh, apparently, Salisbury didn't have these. Here are the mattresses. Here are more appliances. Just a heads up. Um, this location used to do very well on weekends and on holidays, like Hicksville was. But uh, surprisingly, there's a lot more stuff here. Here are the refrigerators. I think there's some people actually looking at them. Let me just to get a last hurrah from Sears, I guess. And here are the TVs. Used to be on the second floor of the store, but they moved them down here. TV's 10% off. <laughs> Take 10% off original ticket of price. Wow. This is a tennis table. They have the paddles here. Yeah, and here's some fitness equipment. 25% off original ticket of price. Medicine ball. Yeah, here's the exercise equipment. They always kept the exercise equipment down here. Yeah. So here's some ice coolers. But... There was always one reason why you always came to Sears. And this is what we saw in Salisbury. That's right, tools. That's why you would always come to Sears. You would always come here for Craftsman and the lifetime warranty. Surprisingly, this is, um, this is not that bad. This is decently stocked. Like what Hicksville had. When they close, I mean, Garden City's a dump. So I'm just surprised that Garden City's still going to be around. Forgot to mention, they're up, yeah, Garden City. So that would mean, as of next month, Garden City on Franklin Avenue. What else? Right, Valley Stream, like I mentioned, outside. And Massapequa will only be the locations. Oh, the tool sets. Yes, I remember these. Brings back my nostalgia of the early 2000s, huh? Yeah, here's some measuring tape. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, you are still going to be able to get hardware here. I mean, Ace is still going to stay around. So if you want your hardware around here, Ace will still be here. But people would always come in here to compare prices to Ace hardware. Yeah, here are the lawnmowers. Here is the gloves. Yeah, more stuff over here. Take a look at it for just a second. There's some employees in the back. You gotta be quiet back there. But here are the grills. There's some more stuff over here. And again, everything's on sale in here. <laughs>
Here's some stuffed animals. And uh, looks like the Christmas stockings are here early. So if you can get to New Hyde Park, get to New Hyde Park if you want to do some early Christmas shopping. Look, they even got Santa Claus here. But ironically, here is the outdoor furniture. Also, in Sears, you would also get your furniture here. Here's some sofas. Here's some recliners. And here we were just now at the mattresses. Over here are the vacuums. And look, another everything must go sign. Microwaves. So now we're going to go back to the elevator and go to the second floor and see how much of a mess the second floor has become. So I'm pretty sure if we go to the second floor now, well, let's go up the steps for just a second, see what it leads us up into. But yeah, take a look at this Sears. It's going to be sad, huh? The company's been around for 125 years, but yet this location's been around since the 1960s. Now, keeping in mind, this is a standalone location. So Garden City is going to be the last only standalone location in Long Island. Because also, there is the Sears in Lake Grove at the Smith Haven Mall. Now, I know that's going to be around for a while because honestly, that's a profitable store. You have to keep that one open. So here's the indicator. Once again, Otis. I'm going to take the escalator down and see if any of the escalators are working. Well, let's see if this is working. Yep, LED is not even working. And this is sad. This is really sad. It, 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 to be honest, this used to have air conditioning in this elevator. It's already hot in here as it is. Surprisingly, the AC is working up here. But here is a mattress sheet. Here are some clothes. I think this is the baby aisle. Here's more stuff. Pillows. Oh, I'm going to get some pillows here. You could do that. And again, this, this is what I mean about Sears. You can get anything you want in here. This door was universal. Electronics, tools, clothing, even mattress sheets. You can come in here. This literally reminds me of Boscov's. And again, I hope Boscov's doesn't go out of business in Delmarva, because if that went out of business, I, I would be heartbroken. I've seen on TV stuff. Yes, they occasionally had it here, too. Yeah, and back here was where electronics used to be, but they moved it. Because you guys remember last month in Salisbury, they didn't have their electronics section anymore. Here's luggage. Here's a coffee maker. There's more kitchen appliances. Yeah. Luggage. This is going to be so sad to see all this inventory go right at the beginning of next month. I feel bad for her. You know, hopefully she can put her collection in Boscov's. That's what I recommend her to do. She can find any cheap discount stores. Because Sears was always a discount place. You always would come here and expect the sale. And I'm very happy that they kept this store well organized. Because as you're seeing here, the clothing is organized. And... This literally reminds me of how well stocked Toys R Us was before they closed. Barely a rack empty. I mean, this is heaven. This is literally heaven. If, if you're looking for clothing today, like you can literally look forty percent off. How much is this? Hmm. Not my size though. It's small. I need a large. Here are the escalators. They're working. Yes, yeah, Schneidler. 
Yes, this is the Boscovs and Christiana. They had this escalator. And both are working. <laughs> See, unlike Colmac, their escalators were broken. At this location, surprisingly, they kept their escalators working. I'm going to be going out that exit um, as I'm leaving. And I might talk to the jewelry person and get up. If they know anything about the store closing, but yes, here's the men's clothes. Here are some purses. So I think we're going to walk um, this way. And this is pretty much going to be the um, last part of this video. So, um, yeah, here's more women's clothing. They have some stuff on sale. I think this is men's clothing. Right, because they always would get the men's clothing in the first floor. And one time in this area, I actually saw one of those movie projectors. It was during the holiday season, and um, yeah. Yep, there's a lady cleaning. You know, I can understand why she is, you know. Uh, probably at the end of um, the end of this month, beginning next month, the fixtures are going to be on sale. And um, they're still going to keep it on sale. For people to buy. And some store fixtures are still going to be decent useful. Yeah, and here's the sports stuff. See, I would always come to this section first before I went to electronics. I would just look at this sports stuff first. And yeah. Simply styled. Let's zoom that in. Wow. Yeah, more stuff, artistic stuff. Yankee shirt. Yeah, so they're pretty much giving you a price of what's uh, on sale here. I'd like to see how much this is for a second. 35 So the $35 stuff is now 21 bucks. So it's not that bad. I mean, you know, I would try it on if I was with my parents. Obviously, I had the temptation to shop, but I'm not with my parents, so they can't make, they can't help me pick and choose clothes. Wow. The shoe department is a mess. This is the only thing I've seen truly disturbed in the store today. Shoes are completely disorganized. This is awful. Literally, everything else in the store is well stocked, but yet the shoe department is not well stocked. Wow. Well, this doesn't look that bad, but back there, wow, it looked like a mess. Yeah, here's more woman stuff and uh, more woman stuff over here. Yeah, they have the clearance rack. Working price check machine. Yeah, more woman stuff. Yeah, surprisingly, on a Monday, this store is actually doing decent. Normally on a Monday morning, nobody ever walks in here. That's because you know why. When you have a store closing sale, people will just ditch work and come here. Just like what I'm doing to do this video. Let's see, I think that's the checkout line. The checkout line's huge today, wow. Just wanted to get a good view of jewelry for a second. That will be the last segment of this video. But I'm going to ask somebody again before I leave um, when they know when this location's closing. Yeah. Here's the jewelry. And this is pretty much like the checkout line. And I'm going to get rid of everything. And hopefully they will. But until then, this is a well-stocked location. This is literally how stocked Hicksville was when they closed. From what Pine Power LI told me. And I'm upset I didn't go to Hicksville when they were closing, but I'm glad I came in here. So, the next segment of this video will be in Glen Oaks, and I will be in front of the uh, Queens Library location talking about the changing landscape, uh, landscape of retail here in New York. This is the final segment of the video, just giving my final thoughts on Sears. Uh, right now you're looking at this picture. I took one last picture inside the jewelry case and uh, a lot of the watches were on sale. A couple hundred dollars off. I'd say maybe 200 if I were to give an accurate guess. But uh, you guys can comment below and give me your reaction to it. But 
Um, yeah, as I said, let me get this stuff off. I apologize, everyone. I'm having a little bit of a problem in my face over here. I just got it off. But yeah, uh, that Sears was well stocked. Um, I spoke to a cashier, and I can confirm to you that the potential closing date of that location will be on. Let's wait for this truck to get by. I can give you a date. It's very noisy out here on Union Turnpike, but I'm, I'm, I'm back in Glen Oaks, obviously. It's like I mentioned in the previous clip. The closing date of the Lake Success Sears will be on November. Let's wait for this bus to go by. Too many interruptions. Yeah, I'm just looking in front of me, and that engine does not sound good. 6444, going to Glen Oaks 260. Barely anybody on that bus because it's not going along Allen Jewish. Oh, and that stupid Venom film. Give me a break. Anyhow, the Sears in Lake Success will be closing on November 25th. So if you're in the area and you're looking for a well stocked Sears, I even told a couple of fellow customers that um, they're in for a treat and they, they really were. Um, they're going to find something decent in there. Hopefully, you will too. And if you want to take advantage, you know, again, I got it on tape today and hopefully. Um, Hopefully I got a lot of views on this. I'm expecting a lot of views. So hopefully you can come by here around this area on November 25th and um, pretty much check out what's there left to see because Garden City's riding. I don't know how Massapequa's doing because if I can get out to Massapequa, um, that would have to be with my parents. Um, we have mentioned that, that maybe we'll try to go but when they announce they're officially closing and we'll check it out. But, um, yeah, Massapequa, Valley Stream, Garden City, and then Lake Grove will be like the only four Sears left in um, Long Island after New High Park closes. Hicksville closed in April. And um, pretty much, there's one location in Brooklyn. There might be another one in the Kings Plaza Mall. I think there might be two. I'm, I'm not too sure about that, but, um, yeah. My final thoughts are landscape, the landscape of retail is changing. Up the street, we used to have Kmart. That became Burlington here on Union Turnpike. Then we had, um, Wallbounds. We had Pathmark in New High Park. They were all taken over. ShopRite took over on New High Park Road. Key food right here on Union Turnpike. And as far as Douglaston, there's an uncertain future on what's going to happen over there. Thankfully, Models is staying open. Macy's and Toys R Us are long gone. You're still going to have, um, what is it? I, I, right, the movie theater and Fairway, right? Fairway's still going to be open. So, yeah, landscape of retail is changing. And uh, Target's still going to be around here in Queens. They'll still be around in College Point, Queens Center Mall. Uh, as I've been mentioning before, maybe I've never said it, I've told my personal friends and my family about this. Uh, the unions, they're not going to want Walmart to be in New York City. So, pretty much, we're not getting a Walmart here anytime soon. So I still have to go with my parents to call a place to take the train out there. Um, what else? With retail. You know, Best Buy is still going to be around, but they're going to be overpriced. And Ace Hardware, um, again, that's not too much selection. There needs to be more, and that's what Sears offered with the hardware. And people still need hardware. You know, there are still some people who are into hardware. All right, maybe we millennials are not into hardware. All right, maybe we're not. And, you know, yours truly can't deal with hardware because of a disability, which I'm not going to get into. But, you know, it's just sad seeing Sears go. It's only going to be here now for two more months as of the end of next week. Well, as of next Wednesday, so that would be two months. That would be like 60 days. So, I really hope that um, 
the landscape doesn't really dramatically change because again we need target again I know I'm a hypocrite but without target how are we gonna look for clothes how are we gonna look for bedding or well maybe Bed Bath & Beyond for that but hopefully Bed Bath & Beyond stays open now Bed Bath & Beyond closed that, that would be a catastrophe uh, in a way because you can't lose Bed Bath & Beyond but Bed, Bed Bath & Beyond is still a profitable company but Sears, they're just falling on hard times because, you know, we millennials think it's not trendy. Oh, I saw some good stuff. I like the uh, stanky stuff. I would have seen if they have my size if I was with my parents today. I would have. I would have wanted to see what I could buy. But actually, I bought some chips in the vending machine. And surprisingly, the chips are good till November. I checked the expiration date. I, I spent like two bucks. 250 on two bags of chips. Uh, last lace in the machine, and then um, there's like two Cool Ranch chips left. But I was like, nah, I better get them before, you know, the 7 Eleven might rip me off. And I want to get something at 7 Eleven anyway later on. But, you know, we are really in changing, changing times. Queen's Library here, uh, they renovated a few years ago. Uh, our main one in Fresh Meadows on Horace Harding got renovated. So the libraries are still going to stay open. Uh, whatever Yuki was telling everybody, I, I, I literally, whoever this guy is, folks, we need libraries. So, right, they gave us information. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. Let's walk back here. This is a cooling center. So, you need this for a cooling center in the summer months. Even today, today's still going to be humid. People want to come here and get air conditioning. Libraries are very important. And without them, we can't look up old stuff for periodicals, whatever they call them. You can even look up old pictures of, um, they have the books. They have, um, the, the, the widely printed books of the old pictures. I've got them here at the library to look at them. And, you know, I've done it to consider purchasing a book and... Uh, hopefully I will purchase one of those books in the future at Barnes & Noble, which, another thing, Barnes & Noble. The one in New High Park is small, right by Sears, but at least it's still going to stay open. But yeah, Barnes & Noble, they need to stay open. Uh, I'm hoping Call of Play stays open, it, it does very well, but I think Manhattan's on Northern Boulevard is going to close, in my opinion. I, I think that will close eventually, but... Call Place, um, Lake Success, Comac, those are profitable stores, and you need to keep those locations open. I think there's another one on the South Shore. Maybe somebody can verify with that. I don't know. But, um, in Suffolk, I mean, not Nassau, because Nassau, oh, the snobs don't want Barnes & Noble. Get Barnes & Noble out of here. That's what they'll probably tell you. Yeah, because they don't want Barnes & Noble America or Belmore. But there might be one in Patchogue. I'd have to confirm that. Pa Patchogue's one of the main hubs of Suffolk. Wow. Alright, so pretty much um, that's going to wrap it up. You know, Lan uh, again, I hope... Out of the two retailers, I hope it stays open. Like three of them. I'll get three. Boscov's and Delmarva, they're very profitable. They're going to be around for a very long time. And they've been around for many decades. So, Boscov's is a treasure. You can't lose them. Uh, what else? Right, Target, they better stay open. Uh, a, a company like Walmart, they're not going to close. Walmart's still going to stay open. And, uh, yeah, Barnes & Noble. I hope that they all stay open. And uh, I hope Sears can maybe stay in Salisbury, Maryland. But I doubt it with the way the customer volume is. Unless they were announcing they were closing. Then you would see it packed today like uh, New High Park. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Next week, we are going to do Hicksville. I am going to show you the Sears parking lot over there. And we're going to look at how many people are stuffing that parking lot with the Town of West Bay Garage closed. So, um, I should be filming that a week from Tuesday, which is the 20... I'm trying to think. 23rd Sunday. Yeah, the 25th. So, the 25th, I should be in Hicksville. And I'm uh, looking forward to filming that. I already bought my train tickets, so I'm all set for that. So, I'm going to get going. I have to see somebody in this area and then grab lunch and then go home and edit this. So, thank you all for supporting me. It really means a lot. 
Uh, more fun stuff's coming, I promise. Uh, a lot more coming uh, last three months of this year, and hopefully next year will be great too. So uh, take care, everyone. Until the next video, goodbye.